I don't know if you can hear that uh, dripping under the car, but um, I'm draining the coolant on this Dino and um, I'm going through some of the heater controls. And um, what I have is this cable is the heater control. So I just disconnected that and it was seized. So I think I freed it up. I think the heater control valve is working. That valve is not cheap. It's a couple hundred dollars at the minimum. And then a correct one is probably double that. So I, I just fixed it. I mean, I, I checked it. It seems to be shutting off. The coolant, the core is draining. So you can just hear the dripping. So once I freed up the valve, it was working. So it seems to be shutting off, turning on and off. This is the um, the defroster switches from the passenger side to the uh, to the defroster up top. And this one is operating the flapper, but this one is not doing anything. And the reason is because we have a broken cable. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. Oops. If you see that pulling and pushing, I don't know what this copper cable is. I don't know. I have to look at some of this wiring. But underneath here, I think I can get um, sneak a new wire through the sheathing and not disconnect all this. So I'm going to try to see what I can do. But it's pretty tight. And uh, this is like, this position is just killing my back. So let's see if I can get this thing fixed without crawling up under there and trying to disconnect everything. So uh, we'll see what we can do. So on this side, so basically that connector or that lever operates this flapper valve. So this one seems free, you know, um, it's a little dirty. I'll probably clean up all this junk, but the cable is free on this side because it's not connected to the lever on that side. So what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to disconnect it here and just try to pull this cable out and then try to slide a new one in and that way I could just replace the control cable without having to disassemble everything so um that's that's where I'm gonna go so I got the um the cable disconnected so I'm gonna start pulling it through but you can see why it snapped on the air look how rusty that cable is so let me uh, put this camera down and try to pull this out and um, without cutting the crap out of me and pu puncturing my, my finger with these uh, the wire ends. But you can see why it seized and why it broke off. It looks like it probably seized in the sheathing. And then um, and then as somebody was pulling on it, it just broke it on the other end. So um, I'm gonna try to sneak this out and then see, maybe I'll just cut it. That way I don't have to pull it through this hole and uh, it'll come out a lot easier. But um, yeah, that's why it broke. So I got the new cable in with the uh, correct little diamond shaped little uh, end on it and uh, bent that in shape, lubricated and uh, should be ready to go. So uh, let me show you that it works. Okay, trying to shoot these videos can sometimes be uh, hard to show what's going on, but uh, I'm working on the uh, control cables underneath the uh, dash and um, a couple of them were seized and then a couple of them were just not set up correctly so I could I had to uh, try to fix them so they work better working on cars under the dash is probably one of the most uncomfortable things to do um, and Dino's are, are certainly no exception in fact they're probably a little bit harder um, because they're they're kind of small cars so we all have done it. Anybody who's worked in the, uh, on cars has had to eventually stick their head up underneath a dash. And um, you, know, you always wonder whether or not you could, you could uh, charge your customers for uh, chiropractic visits or whatever, uh, just because a day of doing this or a few hours of doing this will definitely throw your back out if you have a bad back. So first thing I gotta do is just sit on the dorsal because I can't even sit in the chair because there's not enough room because you can see where my head hits the the uh, door frame, so I kind of have to duck myself in. So I'm gonna get in and um, start working on this thing. So here we go. Stick my head up underneath here and show you what I got going on. So you could see the um, the two side ones here. Let's see if I can get this in a better position so the camera doesn't. So this guy, I had to replace both of these cables. 
because um, they were kind of seized and rusty. So now you can see them. Whoops, sorry, wrong one. See how that one? Move this wire out of the way. Doesn't want to stay out of the way. We'll have to tie that out back. But anyway, so this this cable here moves nice and smoothly. That's the uh, the um, control cable for the left side defroster because everything's backwards because I'm looking up underneath. This is the control cable for the for the right side. So that's the def changes from defroster to to regular heat. And the center one I pulled out because what was happening was I've replaced this cable even though it's got a little kink in it because it had to secure it. When you're pushing on it, this whole cable would slip out of the bracket. So what I've got to do is I've got to try to make this clamp. You see how these are clamped in there? See how they have clamps on there? That one right there? Well, this one in the center wasn't, it needed to be bent and kind of made a little bit more secure. Someone put some electrical tape on here to try to make it clamp a little bit better but it it the whole thing had to be re kind of bent around the clamp itself had to be straightened out and then um i took the electrical tape off i'm going to try to put some shrink tubing on there and 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 thicken that cable so it'll secure a little bit better but that's kind of like what i'm up against so right now i'm going to put some shrink tube on here probably won't be able to tape it because it's just i only have so many hands i can do this stuff with but um that's part of what the struggle is. Um, the other thing that's really a pain on these, and I'm sure everybody who, in the Ferrari business or any uh, Italian car that has this particular type of control cable, these are really stupid to get to because the bottom ones, these are 10 millimeter hex M6 bolts, but the top one is like nearly impossible to get to with your hand. And now remind you, I have the radio out. so. The radio sits right here. So if you tried to get to these control cables, with the, you can't get to them. There's no other way to do it. So you have to pull the radio out. Luckily for us, um, we're getting a new radio. So uh, the fact that I have the, had to take the radio out anyway allowed me to, so it's kind of like a, a process in which, you know, you, you can't get to the heater controls without doing the radio, uh, without pulling the radio. Luckily we had to pull the radio out anyway. So uh, saved us from having to, um, you know, pull it and then put it back in for no, you know, just as an extra step way to do it anyway. But that doesn't make the rest of the job any easier. But. You wouldn't even believe how much trouble this was to get these things in and out. But anyway, I got the center one working. I haven't clipped the cable yet, but that heater valve doesn't open, give you a lot of travel. So on the front panel, it doesn't look like it moves a lot, but that's all the actuation you're gonna get from open, hot to cold not a lot of travel in that heater valve but um that's the way it works so that's why i kept disconnecting at the sheathing end because the 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 actual cable was was moving but it kept pushing the uh, ca control cable out of its uh, clamp i had to re make a new clamp clamp it down really tight but then i looked at it and realized that there was not a lot of travel in that in that um heater valve so Got it all back together. Man, that was a pain in the butt. Sometimes I do these videos and I feel like, uh, you know, my customers might not believe how many hours it takes to do these things. But when you look at the videos, it's like there's proof that I'm struggling. But uh, anyway, uh, that's, that's the heater control valves. On to the next problem.